Hey, uh, how's it going? It's Bill up here in Northern California. I'm making a short video about the rain. So, today is what? Well, Sunday. And so, yesterday, Saturday, is pretty warm. And toward the end of the day, we had, the, of course, the uh, geoengineering clouds. Um, in the sky of course and let's see this is February 16th I believe and uh, it's about what nine o'clock in the morning we just had a brief rain so it's it's really chilly it's it's pretty cold right now um, and so this is the example of the extreme uh, temperatures caused by uh, chemical nucleation for uh, to make ice, basically. And so, like I said, yesterday it was fairly warm, um, and and right now this morning, and probably over the course of whatever the evening. They uh, put more chemicals in the atmosphere to make it cold so that we would have rain. So, um, of course, you know the, the sprays that they spray absorb the moisture, and the moisture can be, uh, and the sprays are also electromagnetic, so they can heat or cool, push or pull, the sprays that, abs that have absorbed the moisture anywhere they want to. And then when they add uh, chemicals to the moisture, uh, basically they can cool it down and um, cause snow um, and very cold temperatures. So mainly the reason why I was going to make this little video right now is because it's like seems extremely cold to me right now and for Northern California compared to like yesterday and it was like really pleasant but anyway it started to it started to briefly drizzle um, and then all of a sudden hail so over the course of about five or ten minutes maybe two minutes it drizzled and for like three or four minutes it hailed and then it stopped it just completely stopped and you can see there's nothing in the air right now um, and you can see, well, you can't see it as well as you could before, but there, there were some sort of lininess areas to along the coast there. Um, you can see the different variations of cloud formations basically clearing uh, off in the distance. And then here, um, it's changed quite a bit. The, you have this wind. Now this wind is blowing basically due west. So, yeah, we have a due west wind. And I would say that wind's going to be, well, it, it looks almost a little bit easterly. I would guess that wind's going to be 15 or 20 miles an hour. And, yeah, so that's my little... Uh, geoengineering report for today. Thanks for watching. Okay, so this is like 20 minutes, 20 minutes later. And we've got the sun just beating down over here. And then we have the whatever, the chemical clouds over here. Ice nucleated chemical clouds. And we have the clearing here. So it's just, just a patch clearing. You can see off the coast we have these clouds here. 
And we're now starting to have almost a little bit of a drizzle coming in again. But there is a cloud. Now these clouds are moving. Basically west. And those clouds back there are looking like they're moving west as well. But we had a all clearing and the sun was just as hot as ever. Uh, so yeah, any any time we don't have clouds, it's like summertime, man. Okay, so 20 minutes later, we had this cloud blow over us. Cold as heck. And then slight drizzle, rain. That is most undoubtedly a chemically nucleated rain cloud and then we have sun again with a little patch of stuff going on here we have more clouds off the coast just by the way these clouds look just here there's no billowiness to them hardly at all uh, the billowiness sort of indicates moisture. The more uh, hazy looking clouds um, indicate sprayed particulates, basically, um, that haven't grabbed any moisture at this point or haven't grabbed much and or are in the process of grabbing moisture and so and I've heard uh, the jets fly over several times when this cloud here was uh, overhead yeah it's, it's crazy world so now we have very extreme weather, from sunshine to hail, and these are a fairly large chunks of hail. And now it quit. It was just like full on, and then it quit. Well, it's not quite stopping yet, but it's almost stopping. I feel it in my heart. So, this is an example of chemical ice nucleation, basically. And these, these, uh, these hails will remain cold because they'll remain cold longer than normal ice. These are hard balls of ice. They're not they're not very soft at all. So yeah this is chemical ice nucleation. It's a chemical raining process basically um, and it, most undoubtedly use silver iodide. And now it's starting to sort of rain a little bit here. And, you know, I mean, it was just sort of sunny a little while ago, right? And then all of a sudden the wind kicked in, probably about another 30 mile an hour wind kicked in. And, uh, and then this, this all blew in. 
So I would say this is all geoengineered, manufactured weather. That's my uh, impression because of the extremes.